on the 24th of March, I was asked by Mark McDonald to go into the Excel Centre to meet representatives from the NHS to talk about the possibility of putting a field hospital on that site. They started build the day after I first went into the site and were working for about nine days getting the first 500 beds ready. Our role in that time frame was really looking at the interfacing side of the hospital and how that worked with the external environment around the site. The team at Nightingale grew quite a lot over the first week that we were involved. So on day one, there were, apart from NHS and the British Army, there were maybe three or four consultants involved. By day six, there were eight or nine consultants involved, all filling in with different key roles on that site, of which Mott McDonald were one. Trying to work with a large team uh, in a very short time frame without the chance to build those relationships was incredibly challenging. Where blockers were identified in the programme, they were either cleared through key decision making by NHSI as a client or by strong communication between all the consultants working together outside of commercial concerns to get to the right answer as quickly as possible. And then the one thing I've probably learned from this project more than anything else is that if you empower the designers to deliver a product on a time frame and support them through that process with clear decision making, you can achieve almost anything. Working on NHS Nightingale has been an absolute privilege and a project which I never thought I'd be involved with. The opportunity to do something which is not just for the company but for the greater good is something which we all became engineers to be involved with and having a chance to work on a scheme like this is something I will never forget.